Welcome back to Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is Invoke Rakdos. Welcome back, everybody, to another standard gameplay video. Not gonna lie, uh, the deck name this this time around just sounded really epic in my head, so I was super stoked to say Invoke Rakdos. But uh, today's deck is an interesting one. This is one that I've kind of pieced together. Uh, now, I did look at some other lists to kind of garnish some ideas and things like that. But the idea is uh, basically to be able to replay things like Invoke Despair with Invoke Calamity and kind of double up on the Invoke side of things. Hence, Invoke Rakdos. Look at that. See how that works? Um, so uh, it's basically a Planeswalker control list uh, with like heavy Invoke Despair. So uh, what I mean by that is we do have Volky on the flip side, of course, to Balt. Uh, we do generate quite a number of treasure uh, between Deadly Dispute as well as Big Score. Uh, and so to ramp ourselves into the seven mana isn't all that unreasonable. Uh, but if we don't get that, we do of course have Obnixilis, which we can use the Shambling Ghast as the sacrifice to get the ex extra casualty trigger uh, and kind of double up there. Or of course we do have things like Burn Down the House or just Valky uh, himself to kind of get that going. Uh, we do have two Soren. I'm kind of trying Soren out. A lot of the lists that I was looking at have Professor Onyx, which truthfully makes a little bit more sense potentially, but I feel felt like there needed to be another mid-range threat uh, because this was very skewed towards early and then very late uh, and so a lot of the lists I was looking at didn't have a super strong mid game uh, and most of, mostly because a lot of that is down to things like big score and then removal uh, whereas I kind of wanted to take a more proactive approach which is where Soren comes in uh, also just a really good option to bring back with the blood on the snow which we do have uh, but essentially between uh, Tibalt, Obnixilis, Soren and and Lolf, we've got a pretty pretty decent Planeswalker package. Um, now, again, against creature decks, we do have quite a bit of removal. We've got Cathartic Pyre and Frostbite. Uh, Frostbite's pretty important for us, as well as the Cathartic Pyre, because if we are trying to maximize the Invoke Calamities and we're using, I don't know, like a big score and a Cathartic Pyre to equal six mana, we need to be able to actually do something with the Cathartic Pyre, and so this discards two cards up to two cards and then we can draw cards if we don't have a target for the three damage uh, alternatively of course um, this does hit creatures and planeswalkers so the idea being that you know we should be able to find a target we'll see um, but that's kind of the idea um, obviously more importantly though is the invoke despair we want to be able to get that down uh, burn down the house and blood on the snow are both again very good options if we find ourselves super behind on the board um, but that's kind of it it's a pretty straightforward list we're gonna Gonna try it out a little bit today obviously we're heavy on the snowlands for the blood on the snow um but we yeah i mean it's a it's kind of a culmination of a few things but really it's a lot of mono black invoke despair with some red you know kind of burn elements thrown in a along with the big score and the invoke calamity to double up uh so we'll see how things go it's kind of a silly one if i'm honest i feel like this isn't gonna be as smooth as a lot of the like mono black despair lists or whatever uh, and so I kind of know that going in but I just wanted to give the idea a shot here uh, I will say tomorrow guys we are going to be jumping into explorer a little bit so if you're excited about explorer if you want to try that out with us please do hang out with us we're going to be doing an event uh, I'll just go ahead and say it doesn't go super well but we're trying something new so just wanted to give you guys a heads up before we jump into the games here but without further ado let's jump right in let's see how we do all right guys here we are for game number one uh and i mean yeah we can keep this it's not necessarily great uh we kind of have the classic split of like some really good early game and then some really good late game and not a lot in the middle um but we do have the shambling gas which of course does help us get to the um the mana that we need for the invoke despair so we'll see how this goes uh one thing to note this deck is very mana intensive, which is part of why the treasures make such a big difference in the deck. Uh, you kind of have to have the treasure um, because truthfully, uh, you need to be able to ramp. So it makes a lot of sense to have it. I'm gonna just pass here. Um, the nice thing is we're not really in a rush. They probably are not either. They're, I'm assuming a blood on the snow deck, um, but you know, it, it kind of doesn't matter what happens here. These are probably just going to end up either trading or, you know, whatever. But we'll see. Nice. That's an interesting play. Uh, I like that. All right. 
let's see. I'm assuming they exploit that. Uh, yeah. And I'm assuming they're gonna throw a minus one, minus one there. No, they're just gonna create a treasure. Okay, sick. Uh, I think we just frostbite this. It's not really a huge play by any means, but like, I'm kinda cool with that. Um, we're gonna keep on the black because we do have the invoke despair in hand here. So I do wanna kinda keep that moving forward. Um, we are only one away at this point too, which is quite nice. Um, we'll be able to use that to kill the wedding announcement as it turns out. Uh, that is super helpful. Uh, wedding announcement incidentally, incidentally is very good against this, uh, the invoke despair because it kind of does, you know, they sacrifice the creature, they sacrifice the enchantment. It's kind of like an easy way to block a little bit of the damage that you would get from it. So it does make sense, but Again, we're getting to the point where we're gonna just have the mana we need to do whatever we need to do. So it's really just a matter of getting the red at this point. Um, all right, cool, very good. Um, let's see, what is in our graveyard? All right, uh, what do we wanna do here? So we can, one, two, that gives us two, I don't love that. Um, Let's, uh, let's attack the little Loth here. Let's just see what happens. That's surprising. Um, okay. Do we just blood on this now? And then get the Shambling Gas back? Uh, no, I mean, I think we just wait. So what we can do, yeah, I think we just wait. We can, uh, not get them here by any means, but we can certainly kind of do a little bit of shenanigans, we'll say. Um, cool. Yep. I'm very surprised they just let the Loth die. That was super weird. Um, sacrifice you. Give minus one to one of these little guys. And then draw a couple cards. Lands are good. Um, I think what we'll do is just go ahead and uh, filter some of these. So now we've got all the red mana we need to invoke calamity which is going to force the invoke despair once again um and we can actually do some major shenanigans if we want but um let's do this yeah let's just go ahead and do this uh we'll auto pay nope that's not what i meant cancel that's really not what i meant uh let's invoke despair uh and yeah we'll just do that so frostbite's gonna kill this first which is great and then the invoke despair goes off so now we draw two cards instead of the one and soren is not a bad draw actually um yeah pretty happy with that so let's go ahead and throw the soren out again we fully expect that they're gonna have a blood on the snow but we're gonna force the issue in that they're gonna have to choose one um they obviously can just get the loth back which is quite good but we have our own blood on the snow so uh, they can play one, and then we can probably just go for it again. Yeah, sure. Very good. Uh, this doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> cool. Can they kill the vampire? Uh, if they can, kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, what's nice, too, is we did get that snow-covered mountain, so we're going to be able to, uh, if we do just draw and invoke Calamity, we actually can just play it right off the bat which is quite nice uh cathartic fire is pretty sick actually um yeah so i'm just gonna do this kill this and then i think we just blood on the snow i guess we could have done this in a much different order this is like super overkill what we could have done is just um killed all the planeswalkers with the blood on the snow and then gotten our own back and then this would have technically traded off the trick is they do have right of oblivion so they now need to play another thing to be able to sacrifice and that's kind of the important part of like getting through all that um okay sure meat hook is very good that's one card that i did not include in this deck that i feel like you know could be useful of course um but i just didn't didn't actually use it so <laughs> Uh, it's, it's fine. Everything's fine. Um, all right. I'm going to decline. I do not particularly want to, uh, do all that. Um, 
Let's do this. I think we can discard this as much as I love it. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and big score here. Loth is very good. Let's go ahead and drop Loth. Um, they did not blood on the snow last turn, which I think they probably would have if they could have. At least I assume. Maybe that's incorrect. I don't know. Um, cool. I'm going to hold on to the Shambling Ghast. I don't know that it's really that big of a deal either way. Um, but if they do have another sleeper, at least we've got a follow-up play. It's not like it's a big one anyway. So, you know, not a huge deal. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, we have got a hilarious little back and forth right now. So let's see what they do here. Um, interesting. All right, so we can blood on the snow killing what? What do we want to kill? Um, let's draw a card. Invoke Despair is very good here. Um, we'll minus. I'm gonna Blood on the Snow, killing all Planeswalkers. Uh, ooh, that was exciting. And then, I think we'll just get Loth back. We'll do this. Do we just Invoke Despair, or do we have Nixilis is the trick. Uh, I think we have Nixilis, actually. They're in a position where they really don't have a lot going on, so this feels more important to me. Yeah, they, of course, gain a little bit here, but that's kind of fine. Um, I'm going to just plus up. We're just going to kind of force the, the damage in here. I think that's a better play. Um, and do we attack? You know, weirdly, there's a world where we do, but I think we just pass. Um, I will throw a Shambling Ghast out here. The reason being, if this dies, we can throw a negative one counter on this, which will then, you know, trade up. So I think that's uh, more reasonable. We do, of course, have the Invoke Despair here at some point, too. So, okay, sick. Um, yeah, I mean, this is very, very good, but uh, they can't get rid of everything, which is the very important piece to all of this, because um, we can Invoke Despair next turn, get ahead on basically everything, and we should be able to kind of start closing out this game, um, because now they are so behind on resources. Um, invoke Despair, man, just such a sick card. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're going to get Gameless already. I'm assuming that just means they... Uh, they know they've lost. Let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> we can actually invoke Calamity and do it again, which seems pretty good. Uh, yeah, you got me. <laughs> Let's invoke. Just because. Uh, <laughs> and this does win the game um, on the spot, as it turns out, because they can only sacrifice one thing. Uh, let's do this. Sick. We did it! That's the whole idea of the deck, is to force Invoke Despair a lot. Uh, and it works! That was really pretty awesome. Uh, kind of nice to see a bit of a, not a mirror match by any means, but like the Orzhov version of, you know, a control style deck versus the Rakdos. That was actually pretty cool. Let's jump into game two. What's up guys? Before we jump into the next game, I just want to remind you, if you would like to pick up this month's Patreon rewards, feel free to do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, how do we feel about this? We're definitely light on land, uh, but if we do get a land, we of course have Obnixilis, and we've got big score, which can help us get there. I'm gonna try it. Really, I feel like this is a bad keep, but we're gonna, we're gonna see what we can do. That's not a good draw. Um, I'm pretty happy with that first game, though. I'll be honest, guys. Uh, that was a little luck, I think, but it worked out pretty well. Also, my face is very yellow, I'm realizing, from all of the light, uh, and it looks really funny to me, but it's fine. Um, I am actually okay with this, because we do have the a way to deal with it, but we really, like, have to draw a land here. Um, okay, we did it. We're amazing. Um, I am just going to play the Obnixilis as is, um, and start the discard now. Um, normally I would just minus, but I think, uh, I'd rather go ahead and get this down. I'm assuming they're going to have hasty things, which I don't love, but like, it's fine. Uh, so they get to hide away. Another fight rigging. 
Fight rigging under fight rigging. Uh, this is a really sick deck. If you guys don't know what this deck is, it's really fun. You get to cheat out a lot of stuff, uh, which is pretty cool. All right. Um, hmm. We're going to end up having to use this to just, like, discard some stuff and then draw some cards, I think. Um, let's go ahead and do it, because we literally, like, have to. Um, what do we discard here? I think Anne Invoke Despair. Um, probably Frostbite. I don't think Frostbite's really going to match up too well against anything, unfortunately. That's not bad. Um... I am going to force the discard here. Um, may not be great, but I think it's fine. Not the discard, excuse me, the life loss, technically. Yep. This gets massive. Uh, we're basically just trying to get to the point. Wow! Okay! <laughs> That's really bad. Uh, I will take the action. Uh, remove that from combat. I'm assuming they're just going to exile the top. Yeah. Oh no, they got our own Valky. That's really bad. Um, I guess technically we should have minus one last turn so we could have double blocked and gotten the treasure token. That probably would have been better uh, in hindsight. Uh, hmm. What can we do? What can we do? Uh, not a ton, if I'm honest. We're kind of not doing so hot in this game. Um, so what's the actual play? I think it's like leave up blocks for one of these guys and then deadly dispute. We're also just really stuck on land, which is not good for us for obvious reasons. Okay, thankfully they only got a land, but I really kind of wish we had that land. Um, and they can play a backup to Balt. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, very close, at least. Yeah, so we Deadly Dispute here. Create the maximum number of treasure tokens that we can. Blood on the Snow is pretty good. Um... Uh, we'll just deal it here. Uh, really, we have to invoke despair, though, more than anything. We're basically dead, I think, but that's fine. Um, I think we have to take the action. I really hate this, but I think we just kind of have to. Um... We can just invoke despair, which is like a step in the right direction. We could alternatively blood on the snow, um, which also isn't terrible. Um, burn down the house really doesn't get it done, sadly. Um, I'm just going to go for the invoke despair play. This is going to hit three things. So one of the shakedown heavies to Balt, and then one of the enchantments, which I mean is pretty relevant, honestly. I'll take it. Um, yeah. Let's throw a plus one. Hmm. Really thinking through this game. <laughs> this is a fascinating one. Um, I mean, chances are, like I said, they've got my Tabalt, so like, there's no way in heck they don't just use that. They're gonna fight rigging to get another freebie. Uh, which is great for them. They have another shakedown heavy. Um, so, good news, bad news. If we draw a land, we can just blood on the snow. Um, okay. Like, at what point are we just dead? You know what I mean? <laughs> um, I'm going to decline. I don't want to give them a, a card. We're, we're going to take 10. Uh, that was probably a bad call, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, that's really bad. Um, what do we do, people? Are we just dead? I mean, realistically, I, I feel like we're probably just dead. Um, 
<laughs> yeah. Make you lose to life. <laughs> um, hmm. I think we're just dead, guys. I'll be honest. Uh, we can burn for three and then burn for three, which technically keeps us alive. <laughs> We can do this, we can do this, but we have to sacrifice our treasure, which means blood on the snow is no longer relevant. Um, I think we just good game them here, honestly. They have a Tabal, like they can clear our board. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and concede, guys. I don't think there was a way we could dig out of that. Uh, it's all good though, because now we have time for a third game. Let's, let's do that. All right, guys, here we are for the third game. This is a much stronger start, so we are definitely going to try this one. Uh, let's go ahead and lead with this, get that shambling gas out there. Unfortunately, that last game, I mean, I don't know. Lands would have obviously helped. We probably would have been able to, like, at least somewhat stabilize, but we just didn't get there, and, you know, that's fine. It happens. Um, let's go ahead and throw you out. Um, I will actually attack in. If they decide to block, great. Uh, I didn't think they would, but it's worth a, worth a try. Uh, there's some warrant to deadly disputing, depending on what they play here. Okay, well, that's not worth it, so we're not going to do that. Um, or is it? Because this does ramp us quite heavily. Yeah, I think this is it. Let's do it. Uh, this draws us some cards, uh, we create a treasure token, we get another treasure token, and now we just have, like, we basically ramped two turns into potential blood on the snow, um, which I'm super cool with. So, let's do this. Uh, we're in the camp of staying alive, so I'm definitely just gonna throw the 1-1 one -one out. Chances are it gets burned, but chances are Obnixilis does too, so we're gonna waste some burn spells. And then next turn, we can just blood on the snow and get rid of it all and get Obnixilis back. <laughs> uh, which is kind of the goal here, I think. Um, obviously, we'll see, but I'm kind of okay with this. If they deal with my entire board, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then the Invoke Calamity is, of course, a eventually going to be a live draw. We do have the, the dual lands here, so we can actually run those out as red, and we will have enough mana for it. So that's helpful. Sure. Waste that burn, baby. Let's go. Uh, I am going to force the issue here. If they happen to have a way to deal with this, like, that's cool. But I'm just going to do that. Excellent. Um, we definitely want to throw the red out for the extra invoke calamity potential. Um, is it worth it to blood on the snow right now? I'm going to say no. Um, I'm not certain on that, but I feel like waiting one more turn might actually be very worthwhile here. So they are going to get something down, which is fine. They're going to deal some damage, which is also fine. But uh, we're one step closer to Invoke Calamity, and we get an extra like two for one here. So we'll go ahead and pass. Excellent. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Destroy all creatures. Excellent. Get all that crap out of there. Uh, and I think it's just Obnixilis. Um, let's throw the 1-1 one, one out. Again, just to like have a blocker um, in case they have, you know, uh, adversary or something like that. Bloodthirsty adversary. If they've got the little knight dude, uh, the Sunrise Cavalier, it kind of sucks because there's not a lot we can do about it. But yeah, this will, will definitely just block. Um, Easy block. Um, no reason not to. Go ahead and ping him for one. Um, oh, I like that. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we could just Valky and then exile this, uh, which I don't mind, actually. Let's go ahead and plus up, because obviously that's what we're going to do. Um, unfortunately, we don't gain the life because we did block, but like, I think it's worth it. Um, cool. Let's go ahead and throw this out. And yeah, I'm I'm just gonna Valky or Tibalt, excuse me. Um, I'm gonna exile this little guy. 
maybe it's not worth it i don't know but that gives us a creature for later on we're kind of like open at the moment which isn't great you know what i mean but if thundering raiju was their best play last turn it probably doesn't get better than that this turn um unless they just drew something miraculous so i mean thundering raiju is good but like it's not the end of the world cool yeah you did it there's the adversary uh which is good and they can kill Obnixilus. Uh, but we do have the Invoke Calamity to deal with that again, so it's kind of fine. Um, which I think we just do. We'll Blood on the Snow, destroy all creatures. Yeah. So unfortunately we can't get to Balt. Um, or, wait. Could we not get Obnixilus? Was that not how that worked? Um, definitely thought we would have been able to, but that's fine. Uh, we're gonna Thundering Raiju. Um, I'm saving the burn down the house because, again, this is obviously a heavy, heavy aggro deck. Uh, and so I'd much rather have the availability to just sweep at some point. We can Deadly Dispute too if we need to, uh, which... That comes down on the wrong side, that's funny. Um, cool. That's all fine. Um, yeah, this is, like, kind of great. <laughs> we just get to burn down the house. Um, yeah, let's do that. And then we get our Thundering Raiju back. <laughs> oh, no, they get it back. Oh, is that how that works? That's phenomenal. Oh, I didn't even think about that. It goes back to the owner's control. That's fascinating. Uh, really well done. We should have deadly disputed in response. That was dumb. Uh, but that was really funny. That's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, hey, they might get us on that then. We are kind of forced into the block here, sadly. Um, just because we really can't do too much else. So, we can't take too much damage. Four damage puts us within three life, and this is a burn deck. So, like, that's not ideal. Um, we'll do this. Wait, 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 wait. Is that what we want to do? Yeah, that's probably what we want to do. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to save the Frostbite. Um, it's in our graveyard here. Burn down the house. Um, I think we just Soren, though. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and throw this out there. And now, with this Soren plus the 2-3, we should be able to deal with the Thundering Raiju, unless they have a burn spell. Um, in which case, at the very least, we're going to stall them for a turn here, so that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, then nothing happens there, so we can effectively block. Um, and gain two as well, which is worthwhile. Um... All right. Uh, yeah, we definitely just block. We gain two out of the deal, and we keep Soren around. If they have a burn spell, they have a burn spell, but I think they would have just used it. Um, we'll see what we can draw. I'll reveal it. That's a freebie, so why not? Uh, we are kind of running out of steam here, though. I guess we can big score or burn down the house. Um, probably just burn down the house. Right? That's probably just the best option. Um, it's really... The, the, the frostbite doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, but we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> and then uh, we'll burn down the house. That was really dumb. Wow, I'm an idiot. I am misplaying so hard, guys. It's fine, though. Everything's good. Uh, there was no reason to do that. That was so stupid. It's cool. Um, I forgot that it deals it to Planeswalkers as well. Because uh, I'm a I'm a smart boy. I'm a very smart boy. Um, yeah, if we had played a lot cleaner, this would have been a much easier game. We have made this substantially harder on ourselves. Um, we also can steal stuff, I believe, from their graveyard, can't we? With Invoke Calamity. Uh, from, oh no, okay. Yeah, we were not playing very well here. 
Um, that's fine. If we lose, we lose. We, uh, we're testing anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Um, but it is kind of fun to, to try a new little deck style here. This is definitely a longer game also, so, or a longer video, so my apologies. We're above the 30 minute mark, it looks like, but I don't know what the opponent's doing here. They used a timeout. Are they just like done? Uh, we do have the Hive of the Eye Tyrant here as a blocker if we need it, or an attacker, but obviously at this stage, blocking seems more relevant. Fascinating. Why did I kill Soren? Why do I do things? I should have just hid or uh, thrown the little 1-1s one out there, given ourselves some blockers. That, that would have been so much better, <laughs> but it's fine. All right, second time out used. Let's go, crazy one. You being so crazy. Uh, guys, I do want to say a huge thank you uh, to everybody who's been supporting the channel recently. We have seen some huge upticks. I really do appreciate, too, uh, Cairo MTG last week, uh, last Saturday, took up our first guest slot, uh, and it was a pleasure to have him. If anybody else wants to pick up a guest slot, if you happen to be a content creator in the Magic world, uh, just reach out to us. Doesn't matter how, you just comment to us, we'll get in touch with you. Um, but we'd love to have you guys, so please feel free. I just want to show, like, I, I want there to be an avenue for other content creators to promote themselves um, on other people's channels. And I feel like that's not something that gets done at all, if, if not, you know, basically at all. Uh, and so I wanted to provide an outlet for that, which is uh, John and I talked a lot about that. That seemed to be a consensus between the two of us. Uh, and so it's been a, an absolute pleasure being able to do that. Um, and we hope that it continues and does well. And hopefully it's a great avenue for everybody to uh, promote themselves. You know, we all need a little bit of help sometimes. And I think it's uh, beneficial to do that. So we'll see. Uh, opponent still thinking. Not sure what about. Uh, it seems like a pretty clear game plan to me. Um, all right. There's the attack. We did it. Boom. All right. Sick. You did it. Give me non-land things. Um, what would be great? Blood on the snow would be about the best thing we could draw, I think because we would kill this and get a Planeswalker down. Uh, specifically, Soren, I think, is probably better. Go, opponent. You can do it. Ooh, that was exciting. Look at this. I never really enjoy the environment of the backgrounds as often as I should, but that's so fun. Look at that. I don't want to be that guy, you know what I mean? Interesting. All right, well, I'm just going to throw this out and we're going to minus it. I think that's the play. Um, I guess we could plus, but I don't love that plan. We do have the Hive of the Eye Tyrant that can block here too. So this kind of means they have to have two burn spells to, to deal with everything. Or technically three if you count Obnixilus. All right, opponent just uh, playing the long game, guys, playing the long game. It's fine though, it's fine. I don't have to use the bathroom or anything. It's totally cool, good. All right, sick, you did it. Now. <laughs> All right, um, Obnixilus wasn't the best draw by any means, but anything that creates a creature is pretty good here because Again, they just have to be able to double up. I'm holding on to the land in case we get a big score. Um, it also doesn't help us like play anything at this point. We've got all the lands we need, so I'm not really in in the position to really care about playing an extra land right now. All right, so they didn't have an instant speed kill spell. Step in the right direction. Um, or at least they didn't play one. I don't see why they wouldn't have, but you never know. Um, so if they did have something like a play with fire, my assumption is they would have used it on either the Obnixilus or the 1-1 one -one token. Um, it looks like they are not doing that right now, so that's fine. The question here is if they attack in and throw the 1-1 one -one counter on the etching, do we just block with the hive? Um, 
much? I think the answer is probably yes. So we can start gaining some life off of the Obnixilis and kind of get back out of range here. Um, Wee. Man, the opponent is playing slow. <laughs> like, I get being methodical, but you got two cards in hand, bro. Like, I don't know what in the world you're thinking about here. And apparently they weren't kill spells, because I really think it would have been an obvious way to kill some stuff just to throw things out there like that, but that's cool. Hey, my face cam's less yellow now. That's cool. Timeout used again. All right, sick. You did it. Attack me. Do it. I don't know, guys. This is a funny game. Um, we definitely have played very badly, so berate me in the comments, please. I would appreciate it. Uh, attack. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do they have any? They have no timeouts left. All right, sick. We'll get there eventually, guys, I swear. But I'm not... This is just going to be a long video. I'm not doing the, like, we concede because they're playing slow thing. I hate that. I know I know for a fact there are people that do that. Otherwise, there wouldn't be... You know what I mean? Like, people wouldn't do this if they felt like... But this is really just annoying at this point. It's fine. If they don't attack, they save me from having to kill my Hive of the Eye Tyrant. So I'm super into this. Just, yeah. Cool. You did it easy uh let's definitely plus we might just cathartic pyre one of these guys um probably just the etching when they go through to throw the counter on it if i had to guess so we do gain two life out of this as well which is helpful again the opponent might just time out here i don't really know what the heck's happening <laughs> um we shouldn't have won this game if we do win this game it's going to be amazing because we misplayed so hard throughout like throughout the entirety of this game uh i feel like we're only just now playing correctly and they're just deciding not to play <laughs> so cool do you just lose like did we do it nope okay um, again, I'm just going to hold on to everything. I'm going to wait um, and most likely Cathartic Pyre the etching. Um, they could draw something else like an adversary, which would be problematic, or maybe a Brutal Cathar. Um, but either way, we can take both of those out with the Cathartic Pyre. So seems pretty straightforward to me. Uh, guys, how you doing? If you made it to this far in the video, uh, I appreciate it. This has been super interesting, I'm sure. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you. Uh, we're we're doing some stuff. Oh, I did have an idea I wanted to ask you guys about. So John and I were talking about doing a content dump day, uh, which to me just sounded hilarious. Um, the idea being that we would basically be releasing content throughout the day. Like for a full day, it would be like every two hours a new video or something like that. Uh, some of that is just testing data and just seeing where things land because that would be a really fun idea. Um, some of it wasn't. But let me know your thoughts as we win this game. That was so stupid. Let's talk about this deck. <laughs> Alright, uh, we got we got two out of the three. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that, honestly. We definitely could have played better in like all of these games, but I feel like that was a pretty reasonable showing for what the deck can do. Uh, especially that game one, that was exactly what we how we drew it up. I mean, Invoke Calamity into Invoke Despair after playing Invoke Despair a lot. Like, that was pretty much perfect. Uh, the idea is that you can do that every time, or at least hope to do that every time. Uh, so I really enjoyed it. I thought that was a blast. Uh, I hope you guys did. If you did, please leave a like, please leave a comment. <clears throat> Sorry this video is a little bit longer. Uh, Part of that was just the games themselves and the inherent nature of the deck. Part of it was crazy one being crazy, uh, but that's fine. <laughs> but guys, I really appreciate you watching. Do stay tuned. Tomorrow we're going to do an Explorer event. My first, uh, my my toe dipping into uh, Explorer for the very first time. So it's going to be a blast. Uh, definitely lose a lot, but it's fun. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon for another gameplay video.